to British Railways Today, volume number three. In this programme, we spend a few hours on Cardiff General Station as we check out what's on offer. and passenger traffic on the line between Ely and Peterborough. action as we go for a ride behind number 26043 on the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Railway. at Standish Junction, south of Gloucester. trip to the Settle and Carlisle line where the Staycation Express is featured amongst a variety of trains and traction. passenger station in South Wales is at Cardiff, where we spend a number of hours on the platforms as we study the everyday trains to be seen at this popular location. Situated on the north side of the Bristol Channel, Cardiff is the hub of local lines that extend up into the valleys to the north. It is also on the main intercity route between London and Swansea. Our maps show the various positions used on and around the station. We begin back in February 2019, at the west end of the station, as 15213 arrives with a service from Barry Island to Merthyr Tydfil. At the time of our filming, Cardiff Valley Line services were in the hands of Class 152s and Class 142 units. Sister unit number 255 heads a westbound service for Barry Island. Electrification was still to be completed at the time of our visit. These two class 800 units await their respective departures. 142080 quietly rolls into the station, forming the 12A team from Penarth to Bargoid. One four two oh seven two was the next to appear. Forty one units of an original fleet of ninety six remain in regular traffic when this program was put together. Many have been preserved whilst four are currently stored. Meanwhile, 170101 had terminated with a service from Nottingham and heads west with this empty stock working.
7802 has just been refuelled at nearby Canton Depot and was on its way to Aberthaw Cement Works, ready for its next book working to Westbury. The flange squeal beckons the arrival of 142069, which is seen arriving empty from Canton Depot. Crew training in readiness for the new Castle Class HST4 coach sets was underway. This one departs for Bristol with 43159 and 056 in charge. Here we have the 12 o'clock departure from Bargoid to Penarth with Transport for Wales's 142006 in charge. Great Western Railway's three-car Class 159 unit, number 951, is next to arrive. Eight oh two, oh one oh, and oh one nine depart for London Paddington.
15258 is seen arriving with the 1228 service from Istrad Meinach to Panath. There was a constant stream of Class 150s, 142s and 143s to be seen on local services such as this. This is 142074. The station here opened on the 19th of June 1850 and was enlarged in 1896, all under the control of the Great Western Railway. The station was renamed as Cardiff General in 1924 before being extensively rebuilt between 1931 and 1934. In 1940 it merged with Cardiff Riverside Station although the platforms for Riverside were closed in 1964. Finally, the station was renamed Cardiff Central in 1973. Class 143s also make regular appearances. Here we have 143622. Sixty six five seven one approaches our camera with train four B forty two from Margam to East Usk. Back to the west end of the station now, and Great Western Railways 150, 243 departs empty stock. One four three six zero seven and 601 head for Penarth.
800 026 and 030 arrive with the 1148 service from London going forward to Swansea. The second class 70 of the day was number 811, seen arriving with cement empties from Westbury to Aberthaw Cement Works. Sixty six oh three oh passes with this round oak to Margam empty steel carriers. single car 153312 arrives from the west and adds to the variety of train types to be seen.
175104 arrives empty from Canton Sidings prior to working the 1450 departure to Manchester. Sixty six one eight five heads west, light engine. Fairly new to the area are class one six six and one six five diesel units, which have been transferred west from Reading, where they were in charge of the local services in and out of Paddington before being replaced by new class three eight seven electric units. Sixty six oh two seven is in charge of train six V O five from Round Oak to Margham. Freight traffic is dominated by steel workings. This is 66125 powering 6H27, the 1358 from Margham to Clamwern.
a pair of Class 153s arrive, with numbers 320 and 323 doing the honours. Finally, a rare coal train, as 66956 drifts through the station with 6C36 from Kumbargoid, open cast mine, to Margam. Although freight traffic has reduced massively over the years, the station is still very busy with passenger workings and attracts enthusiasts to its platforms from all over the country. In this section of the programme, we travel to East Anglia for a look at traffic on the route between Ely and just east of Peterborough. The various locations chosen can be seen here on our maps. We begin in the east, not far from Ely, at Little Downham, as this Stadler Class 755 by mode unit is seen heading east with a Peterborough to Ipswich service. Our first freight service of the day is one of the frequent container trains seen on this route. All run to and from Ipswich and Felixstowe. This one is powered by 66124 and is seen working train 4M79, the 0800 Felixstowe to East Midlands Gateway. The date is the 3rd of September 2020. GBRF's 66702 is next, where it is seen in charge of 6L75, the 0428 from Peak Forest to Ely. This is one of several stone trains that make their way to terminals across this side of England. 66702 entered traffic on the 9th of March 2001, coming up to 20 years old. The train is passed by Freightliners 66528, hauling 4M81, the 0801 from Felixstowe to Crewe.
We now move west and to the new Bedford River Bridge to the east of Manet. Stadler Class 755 Unit number 414 heads train 2E74, the 1001 from Ipswich to Peterborough. The bridge, which it will soon pass over, was undergoing maintenance at the time and meant a temporary speed restriction past the work site. Not far behind are 17106 and 17111, forming the 11 o'clock Cambridge to Birmingham New Street service. East Midlands operate regional services between Norwich and Liverpool. Here is 158852 working the 1057 from Norwich. Seven five five four one four is seen returning from Peterborough with the eleven fifty service to Ipswich. Next up is 66752, hauling empty stone wagons forming train 6M14, the 1017 from Harlow Mill to Barden Hill Quarry. In a typical 12-hour weekday period, you can expect at least one container service per hour, with loaded and empty stone trains amounting to another six or so trains per day. Heading west up towards the bridge is 66719, with train 4M29, the 1028 Felixstowe to Birch Coppice.
A couple of miles to the west, and we are not far from Manet. The 35 miles per hour crosswinds on this day kept our cameraman on his toes, as this cross-country service operated by 17023 and 117 formed the 1300 Cambridge to Birmingham. Another class member in the opposite direction. With the semaphore signal still standing, 17398 forms the 1122 from Birmingham to Cambridge. The signal box here is of 1883 vintage, built to a Great Eastern Railway Type 3 design that boasts a 25 lever Mackenzie and Holland frame. Whilst distant signals are now colour lights, there are still four that remain as semaphores, protecting the road crossing. Not far behind was 66706, running as OZ28, the 1342 from London Fields to Peterborough. This is Middle Road, a couple of miles west of March, as 17520 and 113 pair up to form the 1322 from Birmingham to Cambridge. A private farm crossing provides the location. Classmate 17398 is the next to appear on this Cambridge to Birmingham service. Cross country class 170s cover all of these diagrams.
20 minutes later and two GBRF operated trains. The first is here with 66703 heading train 4Z81, the 1138 Masbra to Felixstowe. It is passed by 66776 on 4E20, the 1321 Felixstowe to Doncaster. Heading west once again, we are close to the village of Coates, where 755408 is seen heading west, forming the 1601 from Ipswich to Peterborough. One seventy five two one and one one five join forces whilst working the fifteen twenty two Birmingham to Cambridge cross country service. By now, the strong wind was making filming quite difficult. This late afternoon shot shows 66705 heading east with train 4L07, the 1414 Birch Coppice to Felixstowe. The time was exactly a quarter to six.
direct rail services sent these three Class 66s from Crew to Stowmarket. The locos involved are numbers 66303, 304 and 427. Moving west for the final time in this section sees us a couple of miles east of Whittlesea Station as 66759 emerges in the evening light with train 4L14, the 1455 Doncaster to Felixstowe container service. 66759 was delivered to GBRF on the 6th of September 2014. A change of operator and colour scheme now, as 66504 heads west at the head of the 1546 from Felixstowe to Doncaster. Our last but one scene in this section shows 66553 heading train 4E53 from Doncaster to Felixstowe.
Our final piece of action is this single Class 66, number 760, working OL57 from Peterborough to Whitemore Yard in March. As can be seen, this line has a good quantity of freight services and the wide open countryside offers many vantage points to view or photograph the passing trains. In the next section of this programme, we travel to the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Railway, where Class 26, number 043, was the chosen loco for the day's diesel turn. We begin at Toddington, where the loco is seen running through the station. Introduced into traffic in October 1959, the loco currently carries its pre-tops number, D5343. It's time to take a run behind the loco now, as it prepares to leave Broadway on a train down to Cheltenham Racecourse. Like many preserved lines, the Covid-19 outbreak has forced this railway to close for the majority of the early 2020 season, with just a handful of services running through summer and early autumn, prior to the second lockdown in November.
Finally, the locomotive is seen running around its train at Cheltenham Racecourse Station, where it will then head north before finishing its turn of duty at Toddington. The railways local to Lineside's Gloucestershire base are going to feature in this occasional series as special trains and unusual workings are covered working through the county. In this section we travel to Standish, just south of Gloucester, which can be seen here on our maps. Weekend track work produced a number of engineering trains. The date is the 14th of June 2020 and GBRF's 66756 heads north with empty flats bound for Bescott. A little later, and it was the turn of Freightliner to power this set of partially emptied ballast carrying wagons. 66506 provides the power. This is the split level section, just to the south of Standish Junction, on the 23rd of June, as a five-car Class 800 Intercity Express train approaches with a Paddington to Cheltenham service. Freight traffic on the Golden Valley route via Stroud is very rare, with normally just one booked working per week. The train in question is loaded steel from Boston to Swindon and then empty back to Toten. Here we see 66078 on the Tuesdays only as required service, the 6M53, 1616 Swindon to Toten. On Saturday the 24th of August 2019, cross-country trains hired in two East Coast HST sets, the first of which we see here as 43251 and 257 
formed the 0645 York to Paynton. Local action included 166205 on the 0838 Westbury to Gloucester. Also on this day, the Railway Touring Company operated the Cotswold Venturer, which brought the site of LMS 6233, the Duchess of Sutherland, which hauled the train from Paddington to Worcester and return. Regular power for the Robeston to Westerly fuel trains are class 60s. Here 6015 heads south with train 6B13, the 0452 from Robeston. The second East Coast HST set on hire that day was 43290 and 43297, on this service from Edinburgh to Plymouth. GBRF driver Martin Clemmis is in charge of 66756, which is powering the 6V84 cement flow from Clitheroe to Avonmouth. In this section of the programme, we travel north to the Pennines. Our maps once again show the various filming positions used on our three-day venture. We begin on Sunday the 6th of September 2020, and this location close to Dent Station, as steam locomotive number 45699, running as 45562 Alberta, powers over Dent Head Viaduct with train 1Z44 the 0946 from York to Carlisle and return. The train was operated by the Railway Touring Company.
not far behind the steam was 43014 and 062, working the 1056 network rail test train from Derby to Newcastle Heaton via Carlisle. Promoting tourism in the Pennines during the Covid pandemic was the Staycation Express, which ran six days per week between Appleby and Skipton. The empty stock for the train passes through Kirby Stephen, with 37667 on point and 47712 on the rear. The following day, in very rainy weather, 47712 is seen at Ace Gill, with the mid-morning train from Appleby to Skipton. Normal power for the Carlisle to Leeds local services are Northern Rail's Class 158s. This one approaches Garsdale. Thirty-seven six six seven heads north near Ace Gill. Back to Garsdale and one five eight seven eight six coasts interview forming the 1618 Carlisle to Leeds. To free ourselves from the mist and rain, we headed south on the 9th of September and to Settle Junction, where old style semaphore signals abound. Heading north is 35018 on the Dalesman Rail Tour from Chester to Carlisle and back, where the steam came on for the Hellifield to Carlisle and Carnforth legs of the journey.
158787 is forming the 1033 from Morecambe to Skipton. Operated by Rail Charter Services in collaboration with Northern Rail, the Staycation Express was a big success, despite the weather not playing ball on a number of occasions. Motive power for the train was provided by Locomotive Services Limited, based out of Crewe. If you pick the right day, there can be a good level of freight traffic on the line, particularly on the section south of Ribblehead Virtual Quarry. Heading towards the camera is 66102 on the 1044 Newbegin to Tees Dock Empty Gypsum working. Forty-seven seven seven two and forty-seven eight zero four are seen running light engine from Hellifield to Carnforth after hauling the Dalesman Rail Tour from Chester.
now move to the station at Settle, and 66126 passes with the 1226 Carlisle to Crew Engineer Service. Following a period of inactivity, the Carlisle to Chirk log train resumed running in early September. Here 7810 is in charge of the 1258 from Carlisle. Thirty-seven six six seven has swapped ends with forty-seven seven one two, as it arrives with the afternoon service from Appleby to Skipton. Providing another piece of thrash is 7815 on the loaded 0917 from Mount Sorrel to Carlisle ballast working. Just north of the town we get this view of 158910 on the 1450 Carlisle to Leeds. Our final scene of this Daycation Express, as 47712 has charge of the 1549 from Skipton to Appleby. It's looking promising that this train may well return to the line next summer.
In our final scene in this programme, we move back to the Golden Valley route at Sapperton, east of Stroud. The date is the 18th of May 2019, and number 7029 tackles the 1 in 60 grade past Frampton Mansell, with the Cotswold Explorer from Dorridge and back via Oxford and Evesham. As the train disappears into the tunnel, we would like to thank you for watching this programme.